Chapter 3 Components of a Computer Learning Outcomes At the end of this lesson, students will be able to Know the various components of a computer Recognize the function of various computer components Identify the parts of a computer that work Warm up Write the body parts of a dog Teachers note Apprise the students that different body parts are used for different purposes Hello friends In the last chapter we learned about the different applications of computers in our daily lives Now let's look at the various components of a computer we all are aware that the human body is made up of several parts. Each part has a job to do. For instance, we speak using our tongue, see using our eyes, shake hands using our hands. Similarly, the computer also has different parts. Each part does its own work. For the computer to function effectively, all of the components are required. Let me answer. How many components of a computer are there? The components of a computer enable it to perform various tasks such as listening to music, watching movies, playing video games, printing documents, etc. So, let's have a look at the key components of a computer. Monitor One, a monitor has the appearance of a television. Two, we can see what we type on the monitor. Three, a monitor is also called VDU, Visual Display Unit. Do you know? Christopher Latham Scholes was an American who invented the QWERTY keyboard. Keyboard 1. We use keyboard to type letters and numbers. 2. It has many buttons on it which are called keys. 3. We can type any letters or number by pressing the keys on the keyboard. 4. A keyboard can be wired or wireless and used with any computer. Mouse 1. This is a computer mouse and it is different from the house mouse. 2. It has two buttons and a scroll wheel. This wheel is in the center. 3. It is used to point at things and also used to draw pictures on the monitors. Fourth, we can use a wired or a wireless mouse with any computer. Remember it! The computer mouse was invented in 1963. CPU 1. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit 2. It is called the brain of the computer. 3. It controls all the parts of a computer. 4. The CPU is placed inside a box called the CPU box. Let me answer. Which part of a computer controls all the parts of a computer? Printer 1. A printer is used to print text and pictures on a paper. The printed work is called printout. 2. It is fixed to the CPU box with a wire. 3. A wireless printer can also be used. Speaker 1. Speakers are used to listening to sounds and music. 2. It can be wired or wireless. Kids IQ 
make two distinctions between the two mouths depicted in the illustrations below. Pen drive. One, a pen drive is also called as flash drive. Two, we can store data in it. Three, it is also used to transfer files between devices. Four, it is easy to carry. Let's recall. One, the monitor is also called VDU, Visual Display Unit. Two, the keyboard has keys which help to type letters or numbers. Three, a mouse helps to click, drag and drop pictures. Fourth, a CPU is called the brain of a computer. Five, a printer is used to print text, pictures and documents. Sixth, a speaker is used to listening to sounds and music. Upskill your intelligence. A. Take the correct answer. 1. A monitor look like a dash. A. Machine. B. Plant. C. Pencil. D. Pencil. Answer A. Machine. 2. VDU stand for dash. A. Visual Display Union. B. Visual Designing Unit. C. Virtual Display Unit D. Visual Display Unit Answer D. Visual Display Unit 3. Which of the following is called the brain of the computer? A. Printer B. CPU C. Mouse D. Keyboard Answer B. CPU 4. Scroll wheel of the mouse is located in the A. Center B. Left C. Right D. Below Answer A. Center 5. A dash is used to listening to sounds and music A. Printer B. Monitor C. Mouse D. Speaker Answer D. Speaker B. Fill in the blanks 1. The computer has dash pads Answer Different 2. We can see what we dash on the monitor Answer Type 3. Keyboard has many buttons which are called as dash Answer Keys. Fourth, dash is used to point at things. Answer, mouse. Five, a pen drive is also called as dash drive. Answer, flash drive. C, match the following. Match the parts of the computer with the given pictures by writing correct letters in the boxes. One, match CPU box with the image of CPU. 2. Match printer with the image of printer. 3. Match speaker with the image of speaker. 4. Match mouse with the image of mouse. 5. Match monitor with the image of monitor. 6. Match keyboard with the image of keyboard. Right S in front of the speaker. Right M in front of the monitor. Right M in front of the mouse. Right K in front of the keyboard. Right P in front of the printer. Right C in front of the CPU box. D Write T for true statements and F for false statement. 1. A printer is used to store files. Answer. False. 2. A mouse 
is used to click, drag and draw. Answer true. 3. A monitor is called a VDU. Answer true. 4. CPU stands for Control Processing Unit. Answer false. 5. A keyboard can be wired or wireless. Answer true. Critical thinking. A. Find out the parts of a computer from the grid given below. Take help of the hints mentioned. Hints. 1. It is used to point at things. Answer. Mouse. 2. We can store data in it. Answer. Pen drive. 3. The buttons on a keyboard. Answer. Keys. 4. Printed work on a paper. Answer. Printer. 5. This looks like a television. Answer. Monitor. B. Who am I? 1. I am also called as flash drive. Answer. Pen drive. 2. I help you to type. Answer. Keyboard. 3. I control all the parts of a computer. Answer. CPU. 4. I let you hear the sounds. Answer. Speaker. 5. I am an animal but can't make a sound. You can move me all around and I follow your commands. Answer. Mouse. Team work. A. Count the number of monitors, CPUs, mouse, keyboards and printers in your school computer lab. Mention the number in the boxes given below. 1. Number of monitors. 2. Number of mouse. 3. Number of printers. 4. Number of CPUs. 5. Number of keyboards. Answer. Do it yourself. B. Your partner will give you the instructions. Follow the instruction and take the monitor to the keyboard. Use pencil. Answer. Do it yourself.